With temperatures dropping in the cold winter months, it's important to make sure that your rabbit is warm enough in their hutch. Essentially, allowing your rabbit to sleep inside of your home is the safest. We understand that some people use hutches, whether it be just during the day or full-time use. This is why we are educating on the basic rabbit care involved to keep your rabbit's hutch warm and how to weatherproof it for the winter months. As we mentioned before, the best way to ensure that your pet rabbit is the safest during the winter is to keep them inside with you. This way, they will be in a warm, covered area where no wind or rain can reach them. Plus, you probably have a heater going, which they love just as much as you do. Remember, they are little, delicate creatures who get colder faster than us humans do. If a rabbit is exposed to too harsh of conditions, like extreme cold or wet conditions, they can easily get sick or die. Knowing how to care for a pet rabbit when winter conditions get cold is vital to their health. That's why it's necessary for you to take care of them in the winter months and be extra cautious. If you do have your rabbit use a hutch, you need to be even more careful and aware of how well you have it prepared for winter weather. Here are some tips for winterizing your rabbit hutch. Hutches need to be clean and dry. Rabbits can cope with the cold fairly well, but not dampness. Make sure you cover up your rabbit's hutch at night to prevent any drafts. If the hutch is attached to a run, buy a waterproof cover to keep the run area dry. Use a tarpaulin with eyelids so it can be secured in place over the hutch and run. If you don't want to buy one, make your own by using something like plastic sheeting, tar paper, or plexiglass. Here are a few more ideas to keep your rabbit warm. Put old blankets or carpets over the hutch and run, but under the tarpaulin for extra insulation. Make sure the rabbits cannot chew on these, as this could result in an intestinal blockage. Put windbreaks up around the hutch and run. Use some cheap carpet samples for the rabbits to lay or sit on. Make sure the edges aren't fraying. Keep an eye on the samples to make sure the rabbits are not chewing on them. Line your shed to create a double wall and an extra layer of insulation. Add clear sheeting, plastic, plexiglass, or perspex sheets to the front of hutches and runs to keep them weatherproof. Keeping the sheeting clear helps the rabbits to see out. If you do this, make sure there is still good ventilation. Perhaps leave a small gap along the top. Add a cardboard box with a small hole to the sleeping area and fill it with dry straw, hay, aspen shavings, or newspaper. If your rabbit urinates in the sleeping area, get a litter tray which fits inside the cardboard box. This will help by making it easier for you to clean out and it'll make the box last longer. Buy a snuggle safe heat pad. You warm it up in the microwave and it releases heat for a few hours, so you'll need to reheat it a couple times a day. Add a low wattage heater to your shed, but make sure the rabbits cannot get to the electrical cord. Entrances should face south, away from the wind. If this is not possible, turn it around and put something in front to block the direct wind and rain. If weather should get really extreme, we definitely recommend bringing them into the house or garage in order to provide the best rabbit care for your small pet. How would you feel being left outside in a storm? Do you have any good ideas for rabbit care in the wintertime? Have you been successful in weatherproofing your rabbit hutch? Share your tips with other rabbit owners and let us know. We hope this helped you learn how to care for a pet rabbit and that winterizing your rabbit hutch is important.